I'm going to talk about making uh, railings or sides for the Harbor Freight uh, folding trailer. The not the least expensive, but the more expensive for me it was $380. And um, and what I did was I took five treated two by six pine boards and I then uh, split them down the middle both ways and ended up with four boards from each that were this dimension so that gave me all of the materials that I needed to make the siding so let's look at the um, how it's constructed. Okay, the gate is made with some latch with carabiners and these latches, standard galvanized latches. And uh, you can see that the stakes are built up from two thicknesses plus a, a, about an eighth inch to fill this holder. And I used bolts on the sides but not in the back so this easily slips out. Uh, I did not intend for this to have any straps bound to it so it's not reinforced. Now if you compare that to the sides you'll see that I have two thicknesses here. Um, this is the upright and here you see I've bolted there are six that have bolts running through, the sides and the front. And this is a double thickness here. So all of this material is light. Just five two by sixes to make this frame and I had a good bit left over. So you can see the front is similar. I took some angle brackets and I wanted as large as I could get and I ended up having to bend and cut one side so that's bent over and it's just wrapped around so it'll keep this front rail from coming out if a piece of furniture or something pushes against it. Um, all of this material is screwed together either with two and a half inch screws which these are or on the sides for the pickets um, for the uprights these are um, three quarter about one and a quarter screws So that's pretty much how it's constructed, very light, and uh, so I wanted to just show how I, I, my solution for this. I like the way it turned out. I can take a strap, I can bind it, I can take that, bind it on the side, on the edge, anywhere along this edge. It's very sturdy. So, there you go.